Hallelujah. And then some of us, the discipline to see food and leave it. Do you know, listen, do you know gluttony is a spirit? Anything you have must finish before you rest. It's a spirit. You can discipline yourself. Believe me when I tell you this. You can't do much with God and with destiny if you don't have control over food. As great people. Most people hate January because usually most, whether in your prayer group or in a church, there's some kind of fasting. There are people who don't have personal fasts in a month. Ah! In Africa, please repent. Please repent in the name of Jesus. You need strength and capacity. Especially if you're a man of God here, you're a priest, you're a father. The Bible gives us a medical advice that if you don't plan to walk, don't eat. It's an advice. He who does not walk should not eat. It's an advice that the moment you keep piling food without walking, you are dying. So go back home and discipline yourself and trust God for grace. Many Africans are already dead while they work. We have to trust God to live a long time. I don't know about you, but no devil will take my life before my time. The fullness of my days I will fulfill. Are you in agreement with me? I pray over everyone here at David's Christian Center. The spirits that caught men, cut short their lives and their destinies. May it be far from you in Jesus' name. Please sit down. Let me five minutes and let's finish these decisions and I speak over your life. Number five. What is the fifth decision? If you've been sleeping, wake up. The decision to be financially independent. Uh -huh. The fifth decision that you must make is a commitment that I must, I must sort this issue of lack and want and financial struggles this is not just bowing down to the flesh this is not just some carnal pursuit for money remember we are kingdom people and everything we deal with is with respect to our desire to see jesus glorified and to see him revealed can i tell you this dear brothers and sisters people of god do not let anyone downplay the necessity of supplies in your actualizing destiny you reject this truth, you will spend your life paying the price. Proverbs 22 and verse 7. Who would know that this kind of scripture will be in the Bible? Read it with me, please, if you're a Christian. Ready? One to read. That the rich rule it over the poor. That means being poor has a dangerous side effect. And it says the borrower is servant to the lender. If you are an intelligent person and you want a servant, how do you make that servant from the scripture? Make the best a borrower. Africa, you see it now. Nigeria, you see it now. That whoever is a borrower must also be a servant. So instead of calling you a servant, I create an economic name and I call you a Ecclesiastes chapter 9 from verse 13. Don't forget this story for the rest of your life. Ecclesiastes 9 and verse 13. Please look up. This wisdom have I seen also under the sun, and it seemed great unto me. Next verse, please. There was a little city and few men within it. And there came a great king against it and beside it and built great bulwarks against it next verse please help me read one to read now there was found in it a poor wise man what a description and he by his wisdom delivered the city uh-huh yet no man remembered the same poor man the story concludes with this go back to verse 16 now not 13 you took us back then said i read with me now wisdom is better than strength uh-huh nevertheless the poor man's wisdom is despised and his words are not heard
that a man by his wisdom saved the land and they swept him under a carpet economic empowerment is part of the dominion pillars you cannot truly walk in dominion until there is dominion in terms of finances now there are people who have taught this from a carnal standpoint and they continue to fuel lost in people and make people you lie down on people's cars lie down on their compound snap in front of their gates that's not how to be prosperous but can i tell you one of the decisions you must make up your mind to do is to wave poverty goodbye and insist that it waves you back there are many temptations that are not necessary when god has helped you are we in agreement yes, sir. lack and want can drive you to do things you never believed you would do believe me i believe that it is a prayer point in the heart of your man of god and his dear wife to see a church every leader who loves god and loves the people given to him among the many things you seek to see captured in their lives and their christian experience a life of economic dignity a life of economic dignity a life of economic dignity imagine that i came here now and i'm thinking of some bills to pay and all of that and god has given me the prophetic and i can see your account number what do you think is going to happen i will easily yield to that temptation and say mister i'm looking at 100 million don't act like it's not there I will call the account number and tell you look just respect yourself the god who showed me that thing and god is saying me i gave you this as a gift prosperity is a weapon it can shield you from many things many things many things and at the end of this service i'm going to be speaking over your life that in the name of jesus this year even when men say there is a casting down you will prosper in a way that you want to run away from your testimony in the name of jesus christ there are so many things that are not prayer points they just need supplies one of my one of my dear sons in the ministry will say that prosperity will reduce your your prayer request and increase your prayer life that means you spend time praying but most of your prayer will be worship and praying in the spirit there are people who go to pray and for six hours they've not started praying in tongues yet because of the way the needs are plenty at the end of it there is no edification because you've strangled the part of prayer that is made for edification at the altar of your needs i made a decision years ago This is not a canal man's declaration. I have studied poverty carefully and I've seen what it can do to a glorious destiny. I don't know if you make up your mind to like it, but let me counsel you. Remember, our teaching here is choose life. Don't hope that you will be blessed. You must make that decision this night. That I'm tired of this thing. the last decision the last decision you must make is the decision to build quality destiny relationships the decision to build quality destiny relationships listen to me the command be fruitful means be relational the only way to be fruitful is by relationships it takes a husband and his wife to have a child is that true agriculture biology teaches us that there is no relationship there is no fruitfulness outside of relationships there are many currencies that we were given to buy our possibilities in this realm one of the hard currencies is relationships there are seven of them the cheapest and the weakest currency is naira and dollars and pounds if that is the only thing you have in your account to buy things you are really poor i 
always pray for my people that may you never be so poor that all you have is money can i tell you this relationship is profound wealth in this kingdom who hates you does not matter but don't joke with who likes you oh king you love her dance and she becomes queen immediately the king hated the baker in three days he died it was not god that killed him who hates you may not be an issue but who likes you listen this is where many believers do not understand the power of relationships our loved ones and the elderly have taught us the power the economic spiritual sociological value of relationships as i conclude let me ask you a question is there anybody in your life today who thinks you are such a big deal that you can call upon and you can guarantee that the person will respond to you is there someone today if you are in a financial need you can call him and say sincerely this is my house rent and he says over my dead body not when i'm with you can i tell you you are sitting on a time bomb if there is no such person in your life believe me when i tell you dear people of god is there someone who you can wake by 2 a.m and he's not embarrassed he says if it's for you i can go that far many of us keep running alone i have the holy ghost yes you are right but you have to understand that the way god works is that all blessings come from god through men to men don't forget this all blessings come from god through men to men if god says yes and the middle man says no the yes remains in the realm of the spirit while you suffer on it i have learned the value of quality destiny relationships nobody in this church under this high level unction should be without quality relationships because your man of god and the woman of god this is this is one of the core areas of grace they've taught you things many of you get cheaply what other people pay for to learn don't abuse it because it came free listen to this word of caution i tell you i said this to your pastor yesterday i also said it to the woman of god chances are excellent that when something is very available you can cheapen it learn to protect and preserve the wisdom that comes from these people they are gifts not only to you but to the body of christ are you are you following now please learn relationships relationships are investments next time they ask you to list all your investments don't list land alone land does not talk to you land cannot love you land cannot move from where it is to where trouble is meeting you but there are men who can that there must be someone in your life who says provided i am alive your children will never beg for bread there are people who relationship is a stream of income for them there are preachers who are alone aside from god there is no human vessel who believes in you enough i love everybody but i don't commit the same level of energy and vigor to everybody there are people who have taken out time to invest in my relationship with them people families. i would be stupid and even foolish to generalize relationship and invest the same kind of energy go back and stratify your relationships who are the top five people who have shown you honor in your life don't you treat them the same way with everyone no sincerely but not everybody means the same thing to me as far as relationship is concerned there are people who will never see you cry except they are not alive there are people who will never see you hungry please let me tell you this when you find people in your life who love you to stretch that far i want you to take note of them and invest into that relationship it's one of the lessons that i learned having the privilege of access to our fathers of faith in this nation my goodness my god there are a few relationships those people have in their life that are almost magnetic the the formidability of their destiny relationships is unbendable there are some of you god forbid if your house gets bought you will sit down outside because there is nobody who loves you enough to say i can't let your children cry you don't have to get everything by working for it yourself. 
don't trivialize people and expect commitment from them don't trivialize your pastor and the woman of god and expect them to continue investing if you ask your pastor and ask the woman of god they love everybody you are all their children spiritually and they have been committed to you but let me tell you sincerely how you know you are specialist when your absence means a lot to the people if your absence does not mean anything it means your presence is not adding much there are people if they don't come to church on sunday more than 50 people will call them what happened you are too significant to be ignored there are others is after two months what is it where is that noisy person who doesn't listen as soon as they say make up your mind that you will be a blessing to someone don't come to church and ignore people or don't wait until you see people who have a a a persona that communicates wealth then you now respect them because you saw the designers you saw the shoes and the watch someone who will be sitting close to you who can buy anything you think about can just be as simple as possible and they say turn to your neighbor and tell your neighbor may god bless you or i need you you don't know that's your job you are supposed to just turn and say i need you and the person will say see me tomorrow but pride for nothing can make you close the remaining 10 years of your life
three you need gifted people in your life you don't just need loyal people you need results and there are those you need gifted people. what will happen to you tonight this man that man lifting his hands sir shout jesus as loud as you can in the name of jesus christ i stretch my hands towards you that name you have called i'm seeing fire just come on you and the lord is saying he's shifting you to a new season in the name of jesus christ may that fire shift you to a new season you will never be the same in the name of jesus christ yola are you ready tonight lift your voice in one minute everything you desire to happen in your life begin to speak it declare let's have all the prayer requests please. so that there's no commotion and all of you who are by the edge up here please be careful i want to pray for you that everything that does not name the name of christ in the name of jesus is time for it to go at the count of three i want you to shout the name jesus that is the name that has been lifted above every other name hear me yola at the shout of that name if god be god everything sitting on anyone's destiny that is not of the christ it must give way right now are you ready one two three shout jesus Praise the name of the Lord. 
my goodness our time who is godia godia i'm hearing a name godia who is that i'm hearing a name godia please we do not have all the time if you're here and the lord mentions your case or your name please very quickly let me just know the of god is coming on you you will never be the same in the name of jesus christ i pray for you in the name of jesus why are they here hallelujah please don't come out at random in the name of jesus my dear look at me i stretch my hands the power of god is coming upon you and i decree and declare shame and reproach let it live your life right now in the name of jesus over forever help her in jesus name i pray um who is paul 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 who is that paul you are wearing like a milk kaftan paul is there someone like that who is that what is your name where's the mic huh? my name is paul sir. from where I stand. come paul god is about to change your life my friend what do you do Huh? I want to pray for you. The Bible says, even the lawful captive shall be delivered. I will pray for you. There is a grace for entrepreneurship on you. And it may not look like it now, but the Lord is calling you. He will transform you in a very remarkable way. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please bring for me. There is a gentleman, not a lady, a gentleman. He will shout loud under the anointing to the hearing of everyone. Please bring it for me very quickly. I need to pray for him before we pray for the sick. My friend, look at me. In the name of Jesus, I bring you life. And I pray by the power of the Holy Spirit, let seasons change over your life. Receive that grace right now. In the name of Jesus, a change of season. You will never be the same. Never be the same. In the name of Jesus Christ. Help me, please. There is a gentleman. The power of God is coming on. Please bring him. Your name is Paul too. What's your name? That Juma. I want to pray for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm about to pray for the sick now. Let there be a miracle for you. Supernatural miracle. In the name of Jesus. I am the Lord is showing me a woman. All the ladies in that family. This is what I'm seeing in my vision. None of them have been able to have a child. Who is that? I want to pray for you. Please don't just come out at random. This is a vision God is showing me. This is that person. I want to pray for you now. It's time for God to turn your morning into dancing. Halisha la brande de poskali brahaska da balakosia. What do you do? Ah, huh? you are a pastor. Where? Ah, huh? you didn't think. I want to pray for you. You you look at me. Look at me. Your life will never be the same. You will begin to walk strongly in the healing anointing. Amen. Take that grace now. I stretch my hands. May that grace come upon you. Take that grace. In the name of Jesus Christ. You will never be the same. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for this gentleman by the power of the Holy Spirit. May the Lord Himself show you mercy and lift you even to higher grounds. By the power of the Holy Spirit. The Lord, the family, if you are not here, no problem. We'll just, I want to pray for the sick. All, I'm seeing the ladies, no fruitfulness at all. Is that, is there someone like that? Don't tell lies. Come. Where are you from? Where is she? Who knows? Huh? Huh? Madam. Is there somewhere like that? Okay. How many are you? How many are you? Your family. Are you married? No, I'm not married? no children. Yes. Look at me. You're going to have a baby boy. The prophetic does not only reveal, it creates. It makes what has no business happening to happen by the authority of Jesus. I want to pray for you and your sisters. Huh? Maimuna. Maimuna. I don't know why I'm getting this name, Maimuna. We have to redeem the time and pray for the sick. 
Naimuna. I'm hearing a name, Naimuna. Father, in the name of Jesus, you have shown me concerning this lady. I prophesy upon you and I prophesy, Naimuna. You are wearing maroon. You are coming from outside. Outside. This Naimuna is not in the auditorium. Outside. This side, in fact. Outside. There. Who is that? Where are you coming from? I'm from your uh -uh. Where in? Are you? Yes. I am. Is, she, is she coming from? The person I saw was coming from outside. Yes. I'm where, where were you? Yes. Outside. outside. My dear, what do you do? What do you do? I'm a politician. Do you know why I called you? Because it may look like what you are doing is not making sense. But the way God is going to lift you, it will surprise many people. I'm not a politician, no. I'm a man of God. But you see, there is a kingmaker anointing. Kingmakers don't become kings themselves, but they can enthrone and remove kings. Politicians do politics with integrity. Do politics. If you're a politician here, I beckon on you by the mercies of God. The era of just siphoning resources, let's stop this thing and serve God's people with sincerity. It doesn't matter what political position, no matter how much you steal, is this same stomach, this is the limit of what you can take. We must restore integrity in governance. Hallelujah. I pray for you. In the name of Jesus, may the God of heaven show you mercy. I place grace upon your life. And I provoke the mean haparuska de kreidushkiala katabra. Receive the grace now. I set you on fire. Let doors be open for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now, please listen. I want to pray for the sick now. Our time is gone. My dear, okay, I call her out. In Jesus' name. Just place your hand on your stomach. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let there be a miracle. Ah. Now. Let it be over by the power of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ, every devil gives way now. Mm. The authority that is in the name of Jesus, the key of David that can open a door that no man shuts and can shut a door. This lady, I'm seeing the grace that was on Esther on you. You, this lady, come. You, this one with come out. <laughs> Where are you coming from? Huh? I want to pray for you. Listen, God will put you in palaces and before kings. It will surprise you what God will do. I'm saying it in the open. There is a grace that enthrones. Have you not been seeing it in your dreams? You saw it in your dreams. You were even telling somebody. Who are you telling? The husband. Come. Don't be embarrassed, eh? Yes. The wonder walking power of Jesus. What do you do, sir? You are a pastor. I want to pray for you. The grace that was on Esther is on your wife. God will grant her access to systems and structures. I stretch my hands and in the name of Jesus Christ, drink of that wine. In the name of Jesus, I set you on fire. May that grace begin to speak. That anointing is coming on you now. Take that grace. In the name of Jesus Christ. And for you, may God help you in ministry, my friend. The Lord is showing you mercy. Look at me. God is sending financial helpers. Sending financial help us, it will be like a dream. God will just turn everything around for you in Jesus' name. Can I pray for the sick now? Now, please listen, please listen to the instruction inside and outside. I'm about to pray for the sick now. We will let the devil know once again that Jesus is still Lord over your life. Hallelujah. Many of you already, please, these ones, if they are all right, they can clear the way so that some of us now. When I pray for the sick, we're going to do this very quickly. We're out of time. As soon as I pray and rebuke that devil, the power of God is going to come upon you. There will be miracles here. 
please let me have maybe one or two of the pastors and the aisle because we are going to call a few people who we are going to call a few people who have been healed we'll just take a few testimonies after that i will pray on this and then we'll do the impartation please be patient tonight and let the lord visit this city hallelujah now lay your hands where you are trusting god for a miracle everyone inside and outside and you who is following from your home or from whatever nation of the earth i'd like you to lay your hands where you are trusting god for a miracle jesus something special to pray for you now take your eyes away whether you're on a wheelchair whether you're on crutches whether you're on a stretcher whether you have a medical report that is a death sentence i'm about to pray just look on to jesus right now and i want you to agree with me as i pray are you ready in the name of jesus christ amen. shout a louder amen in the name of jesus christ amen. in the name of jesus christ A lady is going to shout loud to the hearing of everyone under the anointing. The moment that happens, the healing power of Jesus will begin to move. Now, in the name of Jesus, I command every devil of infirmity, leave right now. Every devil of infirmity, inside and outside, I come by the apostolic and the prophetic, and in the name that is above all names, every devil of infirmity leaves now in the name of jesus christ i pray for everyone who is sick be healed now my god mighty miracles are happening be healed now everyone on a wheelchair everyone in crutches lift it up and begin to walk now in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ, of jesus christ. every blind eye partial blindness total blindness be opened now every death ear be opened now I'm seeing someone with the issue of blood, whether it's your circle or not, you have the issue of blood with severe pain. I'm praying right now. Go and check yourself. The power of God is touching you right now. There's someone with severe pain around the limbs. In the name of Jesus Christ, the power of God is touching you right now. Every growth long around the breast area, fibroids, every devil, I declare that it leaves you right now. There's someone with a severe case of migraine, very severe case of migraine, be healed right now in the name of Jesus. Your left eye does not see well, but after this prayer, I want you to check it right now. Sugar diabetes is being healed now. The Lord is healing. I'm seeing hepatitis B. Be healed now in the name of Jesus Christ. High blood pressure be healed now. Pile, pile. The Lord is healing pile. In fact, for one of you, it's a severe case of pile. Be healed now. There's someone you have, I don't know if it's a boil or a growth around your armpit here. After the prayer, I want you to check it right now. You will not find it again. Hotness. 
severe heat around the body in the name of Jesus be healed right now now for someone it started like it was malaria but till now you feel severe pains around your joints whether you are sick or not the power of God is touching you right now There's someone here with HIV you had a dream and you saw like a dog pursuing you and it's like it beat you and you woke up and started having symptoms of HIV I cost that devil of HIV right now every trace of cancer here be healed right now in Jesus name hmm. marvelous miracles are happening here someone you could not shift your neck right now i'd like you to check it the power of god has touched you you will find out that there's no pain in fact i'm seeing someone outside i don't know what happened to your sense of smell you couldn't i don't know if you lost it or whatever it is that happened but right now the power of god is touching you and you will find out that your sense of smell is restored in the name of jesus christ you had an accident I don't know if it was a fracture or something around your left limb. The power of God is touching you right now. Amen. Be healed now in the name of Jesus. Amen. I'm seeing someone is like you've had Qatar, but it does not seem to go. This has lasted for a long time and it remains like that. You can't even inhale properly. Most times when you sleep, you're breathing through your mouth. Right now, the power of God is touching you. Now, hear me. Whether I mention your case or not, in the name of Jesus Christ, who is the Son of the living God. Some of you already, right from yesterday, the Lord had healed you. Some of you who came under the anointing here, right now, be healed in Jesus' name. There, there is an elderly woman here. You have a problem breathing. You are unable to breathe properly. In the name of Jesus, I rebuke asthma. Someone, the kind of pain you feel when you have Whitlow, you are ex you've been experiencing that pain around your fingers. But right now, as I pray for you, the power of God is touching you. Now hear me, inside, outside, all of the overflows outside right to the gate and beyond and then those following online i seal your miracle right now i'm about to give you an opportunity to check yourself and we're going to celebrate miracles here Amen. now only those who have Amen. been healed by the power of god please check them the power of god has touched you i want you to check yourself do what you couldn't do some of you whilst you were under the anointing as you came up everything there's been healing inside or outside i want you to run there'll be a pastor here or here to just have them file up and then we'll take a few testimonies very quickly before the prayer session and then the impartation check yourself right now are you celebrating miracles people are coming my god check yourself check yourself check yourself check yourself do what you couldn't do before People are coming. Adam, how are you celebrating miracles? Those coming from outside, please allow them. Confirm them and then we'll take a few testimonies. Some of you may need to go out and use the restroom. Some of you are outside, do what you couldn't do before. Lord, you reign and you rule over all. To you, we ascribe all the praise. Lord, you reign and you rule over all. Keep coming. On to you, we ascribe all the praise. Very simple for success. Lion of Judah, raise. Lion of Judah, raise. 
testimonies. Listen, as many, just check yourself and keep coming. But let's take a few that we have here. Who is, who is helping? Who is? Maybe we may need a mic. This is the one he couldn't motivate me to go for last over two years ago. And now he check your what's your name? Help him, please. Hold on, Victor. Help them, please. Get another mic. Get another mic for us. Get another mic. Look at this. Look at this. Come. Are you seeing this? This is how long has this been? Almost one month. One month. You see it eating up and it has refused to heal. My brother, look at me. You believe in the anointing? Yes. You believe in miracles. In the name of Jesus, I bring you life now. By the power of the Holy Spirit, be healed. Let that wound dry up right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, please. Who's the next? You don't have to. From where you are, can just testify before we bring them out. My friend, your your hand. In the name of Jesus Christ, I stretch my hands. Let's take them one by one so that here is not rowdy. Last year, January. Last year, January. Leave him, leave him, leave him. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold leave on. him, leave him. What's wrong? Stroke. Stroke. He could not walk. Yes. yes. Come. Go. Come. Go. 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 Come. Gradually, gradually. Don't trust him. In the name of Jesus, look at this. Could he do this before? Who came with him? Nobody knows. You are his wife. Could he do this before? My God, come on. Come on, hold on. For three years, my friend, look at me. In the name of Jesus Christ, look at me. I cost that devil. Now, go! Now! In the name of Jesus. Now! Look at what is happening. Look at his hand. Look at this. Look at this. Lift your hand. Lift your hand. Every devil, I cost you. Lift your legs. Go ahead. Gradually. 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 Be rowdy. God bless you. Take it easy. Please coordinate them. Don't just bring them out. We'll do it this way. We'll just alternate. Maybe once or two. Who brought these guys out? Why are they here? Very quickly, help us, please. Praise hold on, hold on. Yes. The Lord. Please hold on, hold on. Let's be orderly. I'll be this clean Can you help us with the mic? I'll What's your my, name? My praise. Praise. praise them, yes. Name. What happened? I'll be having this severe pain for years. It comes and goes. Hey. Many times I've been How long? Planning for almost seven years almost seven years. years if i go and scan they will say just go and drink more water i'm tired of scanning even last two weeks i went to hospital uh, right now what happened to you I check I yourself press check press it any pain any pain ah. is this how you celebrate miracles in your life I stretch my hands. That pain never returns again. I cast out now. In the name of Jesus, never returns again. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, please. Okay, I pray for you already. Grace for you, young man. Look at me. God is going to use you. Huh? Stand up. I decree and declare. May the help of God come upon you and through you to your family. I release that grace upon you right now. Take that anointing. In the name of Jesus Christ, you will never be the same. Yes, please. I can't breathe for two years, but now I can breathe. You Some... couldn't breathe for two years? Yes, sir. Breathe in and out. <laughs> Jesus! In the name of Jesus Christ. Yes. Pile. Pile. So how long? For more than 20 years, sir. More than 20 years? Yes, sir. I never, I never seen that.
with this mic. Can it be louder than this? I don't know who is or give us. Hold on, please. Yes, please. Go ahead. My name is Medas Clement. I've been having problems with my legs. I with your legs? This one, yes. What couldn't you do? I couldn't even raise it. Like you couldn't raise it? Years. For more than how many years? 15 years. 15 years. John, John, do what you couldn't do. Take it easy. Go ahead. Oh, you couldn't raise it. Hold on. Where were you standing? You, you could not even step. Okay, walk now. Any pain? Any pain? Lift it now. Any pain? Any pain? Any pain? In the name of Jesus Christ, by the anointing of the Holy Spirit, it never returns to you again. In Jesus' name, I pray. That grace is on you. Bring you to perfection. In Jesus' name. Yes, please. My name is Desmond, sir. My God, are you seeing since, the miracles happening here? Since 2018, sir, I've been having chest pain and waist pain after having a dream that I'm fighting with a demon. And after waking up, I found reality right is walking over my back. And right now, what happened? Um, right now, I'm feeling naughty. Bend down. Sir. Check yourself. Any pain? Any pain? What's your name? Desmond, Come on, give Jesus praise. A miracle for Desmond. Look at me. In the name of Jesus, perfection for you. It never returns by the power of the Holy Spirit. Now, I bring you life and I bring you healing in Jesus' name. Yes, please. Who's the next person? Hold on, please. Hold on. Don't worry. We'll see. We'll have to redeem the time. Yes, please. My name is Atelier Peter. Can you be loud? My name Anyone is, on behind my, the mic? My please name get. is Atelier Peter. Okay. I've been having this pain in my joint for, for more than six months now. More than six months. Yes. Check yourself now. Check yourself. Any pain? Completely gone. In the name of Jesus, it never returns. By the power of the Holy Ghost, never returns. Sir, let me hear this woman, please. My name is Florida Edmond. Okay. When you said a woman with difficulty, an elderly woman with difficulty in breathing. Yes. I quickly answered, and from there, before I cannot even trade from here to where you are. You couldn't trade from there to this place? Yes. And right now? You came in yourself. Hold on, she's trying to say something. I have been on oxygen for a very long time. You have been on oxygen? Yes. Hold on. Huh? You are a doctor. You know her. Oh, you are a doctor. Come, 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 come. My goodness. Doctor, oh my god, look at this. Doctor, she's been on oxygen, truly. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. She has been in and out, in and out of hospital several years. Madam, breathe in and out. Let the devil see you do this. Any pain, any pain, any pain, any pain. I stretch my hands, perfection to you right now by the power of the Holy Spirit. You want to celebrate Jesus? Celebrate Jesus. Let's see if we can take a few more. Go ahead. Next, please, very quickly. My name very is, quickly. My name is Mary. I'm the one having issues with nose. I couldn't pass it anything. Since you couldn't pass it anything? Yes. For how long? Since I was born. Since you were born? Yes, I is any of your family member here? No. I now you can smell something. Yes, what did you smell? I, that perfume. Your perfume? Yes. And I, 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 Hold I, on. I, I wish they can be a bit loud so that we we'll take... Um, I know there are many miracles. We may not be able to take everything. We might just choose maybe three or four more so that we can head quickly for the next... Okay. You couldn't smell anything? Yes. And when you mention hepatitis B, I'm having issue with it. Last two years, I tested it. You so tested? I, yes. Don't worry. Now you can smell. Hold on. Yes. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare this sense of smell. What is happening to Mama? I'm seeing her walk. She couldn't walk. Oh, severe headache. Okay. Huh? She's suffering from stroke. She's suffering from stroke. Mama? Okay, look at me, my dear. Shout Jesus as loud as you can. Jesus! Out of her now. Never returns again. In the name of Jesus. Yes, please. Ah! My name, my name is Dora. Oh, oh, oh.
Before we end this service, we must do a one minute praise. So, you gentlemen, get ready. One minute. Hold on, hold on, not now. When we are done, we pray on this. After the impartation, one minute, we must let the devil know that joy has returned in this environment. Yes, please, very quickly. Praise the Lord. My name is Dora Alba. I suffered from migraine since I was in primary school. So, it came, started. <laughs> Let her go now. Out now. In the name of Jesus Christ, never return to you again. Yes, please. I'm Damaris Okoje. Yes, ma'am. I have stroke and diabetes, hypertension, and then lumbar problem. For God's sake, you you see how demonic and evil and wicked Satan can be? Stroke, diabetes, hypertension. Hypertension. And then lumbar problem. And then lumbar problem. What happened to you tonight? The headache that I was feeling. It is every time, but now. Mama, look at me. Look at me. Lift your legs. Okay. Go ahead. Just lift your legs. Take it easy. Symptoms of stroke. Look at me. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord perfect what He started right now. Yeah. I stretch my hands and I bring you life by the power of the Holy Spirit. Mama, look at me. Hold on. Lift this hand and put it down. Bring it down. Lift it. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare that this that the Lord has begun, let him perfect it right now. Headache, stroke, and what, what other, what did she mention again? Diabetes and lumbar problem and hypertension Aye. in the name of jesus be healed right now by the power of the holy spirit in jesus name amen yes next person very quickly um we may just have two or three and then we're done please we'll, I'll, all the rest i'll pray for you what will happen is that you can you can come and share maybe on a sunday service you can register your testimonies and you can still share them even though I know that there may be people coming from all over the body of Christ, but you can also take these testimonies to your various assemblies. Yes, please. My name is Bobby Simon. I came with a lump in my armpit, but now it's gone. You came with a lump. Check it now. It's gone. Completely. Yes, sir. The same way this disappeared, everything that must leave your life, I command that it leaves now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ, I bring you healing and perfection never returns in jesus name yes please my name is moses william i've been having migraine for three weeks now and if i came here it's as if my head my head wants to remove i immediately you caught my grain i fell under the power of the holy ghost outside you were outside yes sir and now, now i'm free gone forever yes. free today free forever in the name of jesus christ yes please uh let's just let us be the last person there i'm so sorry after this we'll now hold on don't drive them back no let them stand i have to pray for them all of look at the long queue right till outside look at what jesus is doing here yes please yeah, praise god my name is ns cdk you mentioned my case i was sitting outside there so that those you see have, the uh, outside people again uh, problem with the left leg and i happen to have one you have oh i'm seeing the bandage yes and i've been what happened to you sincerely i don't know i went home i came back i started having the pains since then, it has really cost me so much. Where are you from? Well, I'm from Imo State, but I walked here. Okay. And you could not walk? No, I'm walking, but I spent too much on it. It refused to go? I know it will go. Uh-uh. Yeah. Answer me. Before now? Yes. What, is it a boil? Is it, what does, is it a wound? I can't even say. Just pain like that? What I know, I step on something. You step on something? Yes. Every demonic thing. Planted and programmed around your life. I call upon the God of heaven. He takes it out of your life now. My friend, look at me. I pray for you. This demonic thing. I curse it by the God of heaven. Amen. Now, Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. It dries up and that pain, that swelling, that discomfort. Leaves your life now. And it leaves your life forever. Now, for all the so many miracles inside and outside and those of you who could not have the time to testify, Lord, we give you glory for it. We decree and declare 
that you will be glorified and for all of you who have received these miracles they remain permanent in your life Amen. and for those who you stood in for because some of you have sick people some in hospitals some in various places i agree with you right now that in jesus name you will return back and you will meet testimonies waiting for you hallelujah god bless you now please all of you you're going to stretch your hands now there is a covenant of answered prayer the bible says unto thee that answers prayer shall all flesh come this ladies and gentlemen is the most accurate representation of your desires even when we prophesy we do so in part because we are limited even when we pray for the sick the time will not even allow us to do justice to everyone as should be but this is both a token of your faith a representation of your expectation listen to me there is a god that answers prayer i have seen god answer prayers in remarkable ways um, i had the honor and the privilege some months ago to be alone in Baba Deboe's prayer room and while I was there I lay down the only thing I said was God the covenant of answered prayer that you have given this man through the years I respect and I honor that anointing let it also come upon me so that everyone I pray for and everyone I declare upon in addition to that which you have given upon my life let this grace speak and God have me you've heard me say I'm a product of many anointings it is true we are not the inventors of this grace it's a relay we also received it hallelujah I have read through history many years ago a man of God was going to pray for me who had had the opportunity of meeting with a few of the generals before they went to be with the Lord and here's what he told me he says Smith Wiggles were told Lester Sumro he said when you get old make sure you do not die with this anointing he said find your bed and transfer this grace unto them we are recipients of this grace nobody invents the anointing it's a relay in one of my encounters i had this man come to me in my vision and he was talking with me and i was listening profound wisdom and when he turned he was about leaving I was calling him and I said, Sir, you did not tell me your name. And he stopped and turned back and looked at me. And he said, Paul. Listen, I didn't always walk in the prophetic in this dimension. I'm a product of many anointings. But I will tell you one of the stories. One night, late in the night, I was watching William Branham and it was an interview and I was just soaking in the presence of God. You know, people have criticized the man, castigated him, said all kinds of things because of a few limitations at the end of his ministry. And I, I saw the purity and the heart and the sincerity of that man most people will not stand for one year if they carry one tenth of the anointing that was on that man they will not even have the stamina to stand and i said lord but this man he served you with all his heart and suddenly from the screen of my laptop a cold sensation from that screen upon my head and it started going down over a period of 30 minutes and the moment that happened just ceased by the next meeting I will go to the heavens opened in a strange way we have been given this baton also we are pro 
products of many anointings. Are you getting what I'm telling you? When your father, the bishop, stands here, he speaks so much about the Archbishop Benson Idahosa and the impact is had. Nobody invents this grace. Idahosa himself was a student of T.L. Osborne and a student of those who went ahead of him. Listen to me. I shared with you my encounter in the Renhard Monkey Crusade. We are products of many anointings. In as much as I have met Jesus, and I received an impartation directly from him. It still did not stop the supplies of the body. This is why there is no boasting. Because all that you see today is an election of grace. We are getting into the next prophetic 5 or 10 minutes. To wrap up my session here. And I'm going to bow my knees like Paul said. For this cause I Paul. I bow my knees to our father. The father of our Lord Jesus Christ. And all I want you to do is to stretch your hands in agreement as we crush the gates of darkness. That everything your personal spiritual life could not fight, there is a covenant. You are the covenant keeping God. You are the covenant keeping towards this request and begin to declare that these Egyptians you see today that you will see them no more forever no you don't have to kneel please you just stand let me do the kneeling for you is someone praying open doors enlargement next levels lands territories spiritual fire There used to be a song many years ago. Every time we were in an attitude of prayer, we used to sing that song many years ago. It says, Ji Adu Wata, La Yesu, Bariku Kata, Kanaka, Ole, Ali, Fusaka, Alo, Chuga, Agree with me as I pray. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yeah. This is not your best. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yeah. I bow my knees before the God of my covenant. Oh, speak from the heavens. And the Oh, oh. 
kredi bekati ka parusia shkane melanda skada braske de balahas ke de brende ke de melekush en krekete paraga da branda gata lakatosia skede belekate karia ata branda skede balakash rakata bakata branda ke de proska de lakatosha la pa en bania akasha nas kada branda skadi porusia shakate bereka to kali ka branda gata bania Hear me. In the name of Jesus, who is the Son of the Living God, I decree and declare every request tabled here before God, even upon this altar, we turn it from a request to an answered prayer. We turn it from a request to an answered prayer. says over his dead body for this request may the earth open and swallow them every human agent that must be used by God to bring to pass the answers to this prayer we compel them to respond now hear me Every long-standing issue that has refused to bow to the name of the Lord, right now we declare by the power of the Holy Spirit, it bows now. Yeah. Hear me? For some of you, before you reach home, the answers here will reach home before you. Believe me, believe me. I stand prophetically upon this request. Everything that has risen above you, I bring it under your feet. 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 And if our God is for us, then who could ever stop us? And if our God is with us, Alongside the veterans of the gospel here represented as a united church over Yola, over Adamawa, over the east, the northeast, we decree and declare that every request here will never return as a request again. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now, please let me have your attention. on the ground. 
graces and the sacrifices that are here. There are bishops, apostles, and prophets. And some of you who were not even introduced, mighty battle axes scattered across. Not potentially. God is even using you, maybe even greater than some of us. So standing here to minister does not necessarily mean the greatest or the best. It is an election of grace. And we must be matured and unashamed to recognize this. But can I tell you this? You will never receive from a colleague. There has to be that spiritual potential difference. And without all contradiction, the Bible says, the less is blessed.
the wine of the prophetic many of you here those dimensions are virgin dimensions help them at the count of three inside outside anyone here who should walk in the prophetic one two three take that grace take that grace i unlock the fountain of the prophetic the eyes that see and the ears that hear take it now help this man in the name of jesus christ take it inside outside the balcony everywhere in the name of jesus christ the grace for speed is coming on people now there has been delay and retrogression in ministry and in life but in the name of jesus take the grace for speed help them please help this man take the grace for speed run like elijah run like elijah overtake the chariots of Ahab down to Israel I take 10 years and I put it in one month in the name of Jesus Christ now there are some of you here who are uniquely called into the ministry of signs and wonders supernatural manifestations of power i'm seeing the number 24 24 people lord where are they i stretch my hands at the count of three may that grace from heaven rest upon you now one my god two three take that grace take that grace take that grace in the name of jesus christ there are two men of god here the minister staff i'm seeing i just saw fire come upon you Kariza the name of jesus christ help them please help them take that grace Revelation. Many of you have desired access to scripture. The opening of your eyes to see. Ay, 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 ay. I've seen many people drink of this wine. In the name of Jesus, take that grace now. The miracle of open eyes. Access to the mysteries of the kingdom. In the name of Jesus Christ. A depth of comprehension by the spirit of the living God. hallelujah bishop sir with all due respect i'm seeing our mother i just saw oil being poured on the woman of god i saw oil and the lord told me that there is a grace for favor that he's putting upon our mother and upon anyone she prays for this is what i'm seeing in the name of jesus by the privilege of god's grace let it be as declared by the mouth of the lord that that grace and that unction for favor coming upon your mother in the lord the wife of our bishop in addition to every grace that she carries now by the privilege of the election of grace i speak to you may that oil truly come upon you now you drink of that well in the name of jesus who is the son of the living god that grace i want to pray for you there are many of you that need to carry the grace it takes favor also to experience enlargement exodus chapter 3 and verse 21 we're wrapping up exodus 3 sir you're a pastor here i want to pray for you the lord is bringing speed to your life speed that before the end of 2021 sir the things that you will do will even surprise you and the lord says he's bringing you to a season of reward in the name of jesus speed to you sir by the power of the holy spirit i empower your feet to run in the name of jesus i empower your feet to run by the power that raised christ from the dead in the name of jesus christ 
Esther 321. Oh dear, I thought we had it projected. Please help us, our time is up. Read with me, please. One to read. And it shall come to pass that as ye go, ye shall not go. You know that there is favor on your life when your hand stops being empty. I pray for you in the name of Jesus. The kind of favor you have never seen. I stand in faith with our father, the bishop, and I declare, take that favor now. There are churches that will have land that you did not buy with your money. The God of heaven is arising to give it to you. You step into prepared blessings in the name of Jesus Christ. And hear me, every grace that you have seen, that your heart so desires, I stretch my hands. By the privilege of the election of grace, I decree and declare access to kings, access to systems and structures. May that grace come upon you now. Everyone here who is saying, Apostle, I cannot leave this meeting without Jesus. While I heard you speak, I realize and I recognize that I need Jesus. Please, no movement. There are some of you outside. You are saying, Apostle, I came for this conference, now turned crusade. And I need Jesus. We have two minutes, our time is up. Please, if you are here, before I leave this city, I want to stand with you as we make that declaration for Jesus. I am going to count one to five. Those who are coming from outside, please allow them in as much as they are coming just for salvation i will count one to five run like there's fire on the mountain you come and stand here right now one you are running to jesus don't sit back let's celebrate them as they come from inside outside you need jesus two please stand up for space Are you coming? Please rush, rush, rush quickly. Hallelujah. The power of sin and Satan. Come, come to Jesus. Come to Jesus. Come to Jesus. Come to Jesus. Nina Yesu de Bazan Koma Bazan Koma Nina Yesu de Bazan Koma Bazan Koma Jesus Yola is calling you, he's giving you a new beginning. The Bible says, Whosoever will come to him, he will in no wise cast away. Hallelujah. Now, listen to me, all of you who are standing here, and you who is following in your homes, following everywhere, there is an opportunity to make it right with Jesus. The Bible declares, For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only begotten Son that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life listen to me i salute every one of you for making this bold declaration i want you to lift your right hand high to heaven listen you are not just reciting a poem jesus is here and ensure that this decision you make is true is lasting is sincere all of you who are here in front shout this loud after me say lord jesus Tonight, I have heard your word. I believe in you, that you are the Son of God. I receive Jesus tonight as my Savior, as my Lord, and as my King. I receive 
the abundance of grace even the gift of righteousness and I declare that I reign forever I am a recipient of the life of God I declare that the power of sin of Satan of hell of the grave is broken over my life from today I am a child of God I go forward ever and backward never amen keep your hands lifted by the authority of scripture I declare your sins forgiven father I decree and declare let this be a new beginning for these people you will never return to yesterday again in Jesus name according to the authority of scriptures you are recipients of eternal life and from today until forever in the name of Jesus we call you sons and daughters of light the grace to live victorious in your Christian life may that grace be released upon you finally I commend you to the ministry of the spirit and the ministry of the word for your establishment and your maturity in righteousness in the name of Jesus Christ amen and amen is there anywhere they are going to or they return to their seats okay now I know there are a number of you where, where what's the direction okay now please all of you here who came to make that declaration I, I believe you will be giving slips all of you make sure you collect a slip you're going to fill it legibly and then are they returning back to their seats someone advise me okay now all of you in concert please move to my left which is your right let's celebrate them as they go all of them there will be a few counselors who will receive you. Make sure you pick your slip on your way going. Y'all have celebrate them. We're almost done. Very quickly, very quickly celebrate them as they go. Hallelujah. Now, listen, please. Listen. Um, I know that I, I may not be able to see Bishop now because of the people but i want you to know that i am honored and really blessed to visit yola again and for this platform that the lord has provided i want to thank you sincerely bishop sir and your precious wife alongside the team of elders all of the people who have helped to make my stay a profitable one even though a brief one we had wonderful moments today with bishop and I want to appreciate every servant of God. Be powerful that you wake up in the morning and you decree, this is the day that the Lord has made. I rejoice and I am glad in it. I prophesy and I declare that Gentiles come to my light. They are kings to the brightness of my rising. And you walk through that day as if creation owes you. And you begin to see all kinds of miracles and all kinds of doors open for you. And this brings that that the joy that comes from knowing that your life is producing and commanding results will bring a consolation to your Christian experience listen to me do not be silent learn to create possibilities are we together every day is at the mercy of your speaking instruct it to become for you what the Word of God says should be the third assignment of prayer you must learn to legislate we have i'm sure in this church and probably following we have members of parliament in this nation house of assembly senate and did you know all that they do is to use words develop and enact policies and these policies directly affect people passes through first reading second reading and all of that they adopt it it becomes law speaking they are paid to speak they speak from their minds from their thinkings from their perspectives if you keep quiet over your destiny is what you do not want that will happen i assure you whether you plant or not something will always grow in the farm provided there is rain and unfortunately is what you do not want that will grow are we together speak over your business speak over your ministry speak over your family your assignment is to keep speaking in the name of Jesus Christ 
I will not give birth for sorrow. In the name of Jesus, my mind is fruitful. The favor of the Lord is upon me. In the name of Jesus, I am escaped from these six things. Even the scourging tongues of men. You are praying and you are making decrees. You forget about what who is thinking or not thinking. Your assignment, your destiny is absolutely dependent on the power of creation. Things only happen to you if you are silent. Negative things, I mean. Number four. Are you ready for this? The fourth assignment of prayer is as a tool for warfare and intercession. Warfare and intercession. Apostle, is this necessary? Hmm. Live long. That's my answer. I don't have much to tell you. Please make sure you are alive for long and you will revisit this message again and again and again. John 10.10 10, The thief cometh not. Satan is called the thief. I don't know how many of you want to be friends with thieves. The thief cometh not but for to steal, to kill and to destroy. This is his tripartite character of destruction. To steal to kill and to destroy first john chapter 5 and verse 19 we're wrapping up now first john 5 19 someone's destiny is changing this morning in the name of jesus first john 5 19 and we know that we are of god it says please help me read the remaining part and the whole world stop does that include the region of your office does that include where your church is does that include your village? Does that include Nigeria? Does that include the space of the land you just bought? The whole world lieth in wickedness. When speaking with my people, I'd always make this observation. Nigerians know how to lament emotionally and we say, who did I offend? Very comforting statement but how erroneous you do not have to offend anyone everyone is born in the middle of an old story that you are forced to be part of the story of the issue between light and darkness is not something that started with us everyone was born in the middle of an old and ancient story and can i tell you that story is so constructed that the moment you appear in it, you must act in that scene. Nobody invites you to be part of that movie, provided you are born, you pass through the womb of a woman, you must be part of it. Satan knows that everyone born of a woman is a potential tool in the hand of God. Number one, he does not even give you a chance to grow if he can kill you he will with joy i guarantee you satan does not have to wait for you to be born again to be trained and mentored uh -uh. in the bible children were killed he killed them without thinking twice and then you now come to stand before god's people and surrender your heart to jesus christ i hope you know that when you were giving your life to christ it was not the preacher who led you that was seeing you alone the realm of the spirit including the demons principalities and like i would tell my people most believers do not understand the power of the life they just received but satan and demons understand what you received they know the potential of this life you have received and they know that by your declaration you have drawn a line I think it was on Sunday I was talking to my people and I was helping them to see and appreciate the extent of the rebellion and the stubbornness of Satan that for millions millions of years at least as we know maybe more from the time he was casted from heaven Satan is still fighting God till today what determination that he will not give up 
satan comes to you and talks to you about god as if he does not you can imagine as if he does not factor his defeat in the discussion satan never talks to you as if he's defeated i hope you will laugh let me tell you what i'm about to tell you someone came and met me i think i was praying for people after service one time and a young boy came just stood before me and i saw something that looked like the poster of an election and i looked at him and he came with conviction and i opened it and i wanted to run away he was coming out for president of nigeria <sighs> having shouted and thought that all things were possible i looked at this my dear brother and i didn't know how how what what angle do i become diplomatic do i go directly i looked at this boy and you will know you see the gaps in knowledge the decades of learning this guy would need to <sighs> yes president i don't know what party i'm not sure there was a party yet in all fairness in all fairness i'm not if i'm joking i'll tell you i'm joking he stood at the line for prayer said he came to receive it I, I told him i said look um my my dear brother let me tell you this um god works in seasons number one and life is still levels the gentleman did not agree see that and i told him i said do you know what it means to be the president of any nation and then the president of nigeria he was absolutely convinced absolutely it would have been better if he said maybe he had a dream or prophecy he just came and just believed that he wants to change nigeria he's never been class rep he's never been um maybe uh, uh, uh not even counselor leader of some whatever it is you think God hates us that much as a nation? I know we've sinned against God as a nation, but oh, come on, please. There's still a remnant that... This gentleman was almost making trouble. I just said, kneel down. Just laid hands on him and said, please, just, just carry your trouble and go. I'm not ready. So imagine, do you know with that kind of determination there is nothing you would tell that guy that's the kind of determination satan has over your destiny that as unwise as it looks satan still believes in his agenda that's what that's the point i'm trying to i'm trying to pass across you would think satan should be so afraid because of your last testimony and not come again satan you watch him the bible says he left jesus for a season you testified as a triumph of light over darkness if i were satan i would give up the way the miracle happened he stopped the first child and you gave birth to twins and you think satan will fold his arms he will rest and come back again this is the kind of adversary we have if you do not know who satan is and his level of determination you will take him for granted to your peril i'm showing you the necessity for the warfare and the intercessory dimension of prayer satan will kill anything he finds to kill you know satan does not have an agenda of himself he studies what god wants and creates an agenda out of it it's not like he has a preset no 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 he looks at your life he does not have any personal bias towards you he just wants to know what god is doing and he hears that god wants to lift you that in this year god is taking roger to another dimension he says fine now we have an assignment his assignment is a subset of whatever god is saying anytime god is speaking don't you ever think you are the only one hearing satan is a very intelligent listener when he came to adam he said what did god say i don't tell me what i just want to know what god said because my assignment is tied to what he said Are we learning so the moment he said this charge i give unto you my son timothy that you wore a good warfare with the prophecy 
God has spoken to you I'm lifting you this year and I'm bringing honor and glory to your life don't just say amen and stop you must engage you go to the place of prayer and word of all of those things first Peter chapter 5 and verse 8 have a few more minutes first Peter 5 and verse 8 let me show you a very powerful scripture it says be sober first Peter 5 and verse 8 be sober it says be vigilant what does it mean to be vigilant to be vigilant means to be sensitive to not be careless to be discerning it says because your adversary not your boss not the one fighting you those are puppets the devil as a roaring lion walketh about seeking whom he may devour jesus gave us power and authority over satan there are families who continue to watch the devil wreck them and shred them into pieces and they keep getting depressed there are lives you think the devil wants you to continually be anointed in ever increasing dimensions he's seen the havoc that the anointing in your life has done so far to the kingdom of darkness will he grant you access to intelligence and systems and structures that can multiply the anointing he will fight it tooth and nail satan knows what you did with the last 10 million god gave you he knows how the house of god benefited you think you will sit down and just allow doors to be open anyhow you don't know satan he's every other thing but lazy and foolish two things you cannot credit to satan he's not lazy and he's not foolish apostle why is it that other people who are not christians they don't even pray and they move forward there is nothing that is pro kingdom in their agenda so satan has no concern about fighting them satan attacks but in truth he has a protocol listen many of you watch football if you are playing say a semi-final or a finals and you are supposed to weaken that team your your target will be the the strongest of the, the key players they call them is that true if you can bring one or two out i think you've done a good job as far as making a contribution to the defeat of that team that's what satan is doing so the fact that satan is not letting you rest should tell you the role you play in god's agenda why is it that out of 10 people in your family he seems to have isolated you i tell you why because in his mind you are equal to the strength of the 10 people rather than seeking to destroy the 10 people one by one why is satan focusing on your church why is satan focusing on you as a man of god you are worth to him in his thinking you are worth to him more than five thousand preachers fighting you is most profitable to him than fighting is a way of conserving energy when he comes to you it should be a consolation that you are really valuable in god's agenda is god speaking now satan leave my family alone that's not it he's found out that there is something in that family you are not aware of that is pro kingdom satan why are you fighting my marriage why are you fighting my fruitfulness why are you fighting this satan does not fight anything for itself he looks beyond that thing and sees what it will achieve so hannah if samuel is coming out of you get ready to be barren it's not about your womb it's about samuel who else will anoint saul who else will anoint david elizabeth if john is coming out of you who will ordain jesus who will save the world you are on my list joseph if your rising will bring preservation to god's people so that they become god's covenant people the people from whom the messiah will come then get ready for trouble can i tell you this this is an information i'm giving you as we prepare to pray i can tell you this by revelation and i can tell you this from scripture satan attacks but he does not attack anyhow he attacks based on on 
how much point that attack will score as far as his advancement is concerned so he can isolate preachers he can isolate businessmen if you plan to be serious with god listen to this message if you don't plan to be serious with god that's all right but if you plan to be serious with god i want you to know that not everybody is willing to be serious with god the moment you declare to be serious with god you have drawn the line with satan will he come yes uninvited yes he's called a thief a thief's invited all you need to do is to be successful build a house your success and your results is the invitation but we have a god in heaven now thanks be to god who causes us how long always now thanks be to god preacher now thanks be to god businessman now thanks be to god that in spite of the schemings of darkness there is already a way of escape someone should rejoice that there is a way of escape a way of escape in prayer i can engage by the power of prayer and subdue everything that looks like a manifestation of darkness this morning we are going to take five minutes to engage i know that we have spoken about these four points but i am concerned about the fourth because this is where many of us are in and in the next five minutes i like us to take some time to pray can i tell you there are certain gates. a king maker never becomes a king but he makes kings study the history of your churches in the west the people who lifted the people you celebrate were not lifted themselves so if all you are waiting for is a man's result you may not rise because there are people somebody can see that not even have a church he just sits in his house prays supports missionaries whereas that is the grace you tap into to have an international ministry be careful if all you look at is physical results because God hides great things that's why your heart cannot be seen imagine if a woman's hand is on her head a woman's womb is on her head do you know what your enemies will do with the baby so God hid it inside I can slap your head and God designed it to be strong enough to endure every kind of wickedness that will happen to it but the fragility of your womb your heart those organs God hid it so when God hides people we live in a generation where we are obsessed to be seen let me tell you a secret the more powerful you are in the spirit the more God hides you it's a principle prophets in ancient times hardly traveled even in the west here they were seers they will remain in a room like Habalis for a long time but as soon as you open the door they will call your name and say sit down let me tell you your destiny and you are wondering who is this they say young man you are going to be great but be careful on the ninth year of your life if you are not careful this will happen what i'm seeing you should fail but give me room let me go and tell god to change it that's how they will talk by the next day they will come they'll say i discuss with god you are free you would think it's a joke look those people knew god oh. they knew god some of them were roaming around the forest when power fell on their head they were not in a, a, a If our generation does not balance our new revelation with honor we will lose all the covenants that make sustainability that's why we young people have a lot of balloon success we come out today and make noise today and two years we are down because we are not supported by anything ancient i was talking with minister Dusi when he was telling me about his father and the revival and the move he, he happens to be at the same place with, with God's servant. The same region. I've studied some of those people. I've studied some of those prophets. My God! I'm telling you, history does not do justice to the level of power 
and insight and the knowledge of God. They, had. they were men, they had their limitations. But these men knew God. They could go and discuss with God as doing a board meeting and come out and look at you and say, This should happen to you. But I just discussed with God and He agreed to let you go. They can look at you and tell you, If you don't behave well, if your feet touches this city, they will carry your dead body. You will think it's a joke. You just come, I just flew in from Europe, flew in from wherever. Your feet will touch there. And God will honor, even if they are wrong, He will honor them. And then He will correct them later on. That's the kind of covenant they had with God. I wish what I was saying were a lie. But it is true. Lagos, hear me. When God says it's a season of open doors, the real door is not just business. The real door is not just properties. The real door is not just investments. The real door is your eyes. The real door is your ears. Because when your eyes is opened, this is why the prophetic ministry is powerful. And this is why it's the most abused. Because it's a ministry that thrives on open eyes and open ears. Do you know, I can stand right now. Sir, please come. I can look at this man and in the spirit, I can see that this man is a multi-millionaire. Now, I've taken advantage of open eyes. But because I do not have character and I'm not serious with God, I will prophesy to him, call his name. Are you together? And now manipulate money out of him. That one is not God. That one is flesh. But I took advantage of the open eyes. So I can look in this congregation and fish out the wealthiest people, fish out the greatest politicians and prophesy because it is at now is now is at my disposal now by the privilege of open eyes. I can deceive and manipulate. And because I have details that are true, you will believe me. You don't waste your time investing in people who are not rising. Thank you, sir. Are we together? The first day I saw your daughter, sir, F. Nathan. I remember the first day she ministered. I looked at her. I said, Ah, this lady is not just a worshiper. She's a prophetic worshiper. She truly has a grace that sets the atmosphere. It's true. The first day I met with Minister Dulce, I told him, and we continue to talk about it all the time. I said, this man, what God will do with this man in the nations, and I'm saying it even again and to the open, the grace personal competence and sacrifice but he's an extension of an ancient altar believe what i'm telling you this man you see is not just a song he's continuing something ancient the national anthem of nigeria says the labor of our heroes past it's not just heroes that fought physical war there are spiritual heroes past and some of us you see are extensions of what is happening let hope, let it rise. Darkness trembles in your light. Listen, do you know there are graces that when you carry, God will not allow you to marry from certain places? It's not whether it is good or bad. Ah, this is what your prophets used to do. They will look and tell you no i don't know why the person is not wrong but this combination is wrong 
and it is not on all cases there are people because of the prophecy on their life don't get me wrong i hope you understand what i'm saying it is true it does not happen in all cases but believe me there are certain graces there are times that god will connect you to a man and a woman and you look physically and there's no reason why you should be married and god says just do what i'm asking you to do i am joining altars more than men and two of you will bring a hybrid combination the children that will come out from that altar will introduce a new anointing to the body do you remember in scripture when this guy was laboring to pay dowry on his wife a ghost suddenly appears her stomach starts protruding he said no i've gone through a lot of trouble with you madam my name is joseph you can go and look for whoever got you pregnant i'm tired your stomach is protruding who did you sleep with the nobody a, a, a spirit came to me and told me i'm highly favored what is why didn't the spirit appear to say okay be patient as a husband just let me just use your wife to give birth to the messiah and hear me while all that discussion was happening joseph wanted to is in your bible to leave her and an angel appeared and said mr man don't you don't know what you are doing there is a mystery and just be patient let them give birth to jesus you can have your children but be that father you are about to be introduced into a history that you do not know of that grace is require you are domiciled within certain regions so we will carry those graces god will, he will not tell you this is why because god knows we are stubborn so he will look for an attractive excuse to take you to that place do you realize that one time jesus wanted to pray for a blind person he took him out of one city into another before praying for him jesus I'm at liberty to share these things because this is a prophetic church your man of god is a prophet you understand i will not share this thing in every cycle because sometimes people would think we are just talking a lot of nonsense but believe me if you call what i'm saying nonsense i wish you good luck in this wicked world this cruel world that ignorance is you pay with your lifetime this is the mystery behind the results of people now, nobody will be honest enough to open up like this and tell you that behind the results you see there are mysteries you just see people rising and here's what we say you are lucky i'm demystifying that mystery called luck that there are altars there are support systems that lift people that's why they don't fear what people do because they know what is back in them hallelujah open eyes that you can see open eyes for your finances open eyes for everything around your life i want you to be tired of the realm you are now i want you to be tired of struggling tired of having to meet people to lobby your way in and no 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 there are superior systems hallelujah this is one of my dear people he's a military officer one time they sent him to Maiduguri where they were fighting with Boko Haram. And they almost killed this my dear son for me. I said, Lord, I thank you for the military people who are fighting. But please, I ask you, take this my son out of that place. We still need him for a long time. And that's why they carried him. I think he's in Lagos now. So. And he still comes to serve in the media every time. This is a military man. Because even though even though he's fighting he knows the altar and the grace that supports him listen believers let's be wise the days are evil 
the days are evil let us sustain spiritual intelligence no music artist in nigeria rises sustainably without being connected to a solid altar it is true otherwise a day will come songs will not come again a territory will squeeze you like an orange for over six months inviting you every day to every meeting after six or seven months they will spit you out and that's the end of your career but there are people who remain ever fresh the secret i tell you you look at them is not necessarily their skill or prowess alone they are tied to something that is ancient you don't find the root on earth you only find the body the root is in the realm of the spirit it does not die God speaking to us we are going to pray I know that our time is gone but we will pray before I begin to minister ah this morning God will surprise you all that that you left your house and came here no 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 he never calls the seed of Jacob to seek him in vain and let me tell you this let me tell you this if the next two minutes you open your heart you will be surprised what God will do in your life men are made in the night not in the day the day is for manifestation the night is for making according to God's protocol is the evening and the morning the morning does not start a day if your day starts in the morning it's already too late both conception and delivery happens in the morning in the night listen while you are seated i like you to be i'm provoking you be tired of where you are and say lord i thank you you have blessed me but this is not it this is not it for my children this is not it for my destiny i thought things would change in 2016 i thought things would change in 2017 but lord this year of open doors maybe someone should jump up on his feet and begin to walk around this auditorium prophetically walk around this auditorium it's time for me to move in the name of jesus christ please wear the instrumental it's just help me someone is walking around and prophesying don't just walk around looking please prophesy i refuse to be in the same position i refuse to be in the same position by the power of the holy ghost Someone is praying in the name of Jesus. the lord please do me a favor if you can if there is no space that's all right but please pair yourselves into three we are going to pray the bible says a threefold cord we want to invoke mysteries in this place and pray please pair yourselves into three if there is no space just do two two pair yourselves into three let's pray so that things will shift and change in our lives listen in the next five to ten minutes you are going to hold the hands of these people while you pray this is going to be the prayer lord every grace and covenant that is hidden on the person that i'm holding i draw that grace through honor lift your voice and pray someone you may be holding your brother but pray outside are you praying
Somebody's hand. Don't, don't we lay the man of God, please? Make sure. Are you ready? You are still going to pray the same prayer. Please, these are prophetic instructions. I tell you, you are not wasting your time. Believe me. A threefold cord that cannot be easily broken. You are going to lift your voice again. Lord, what have you planted in this man? What have you planted in this woman? What altar of the spirit sponsors their possibility? I draw it to honor. Lift your voice. <laughs> Jesus, Amen. you are going to lay your hands on your eyes. 
and you are going to say the door of my eyes you are also the door of my destiny in the name of jesus be open let me see lift your voice and begin to pray and lift your voice and pray be open, see opportunities, be open, be open, be open, see relationships, be open, in the name of Jesus, be open, in the name of Jesus, a father, a father, be open, be open, Hallelujah. The last prayer point, then we'll begin to minister. The head of a man is the symbol of your glory. It is true. But my horn shall thou exalt like the horn of a unicorn, and I shall be anointed with fresh oil. Please listen to me. It is true that what is on your head determines what is on your cup. You are going to lay your hands on your head and cast away every negative atmosphere and every programming, whether it is of ancestry, whether it is of bloodline, have been called out of every tribe and every tongue and every nation. And I decree and declare, may my head be lifted up. He said, listen to me. He says, Thou, O Lord, art a shield for me, Psalm 3. My glory, he says, the lifter up of my head. You're going to prophesy, my head, my destiny, rise up. Rise up from the ashes, rise up from the grave. Someone is praying. Someone is praying. <laughs> There is a door that has closed your destiny you are going to pray listen pray like a prophet pray like a priest that in the name of jesus that every stone that covers my glory my family our name our relevance we roll you away by the spirit of god it's time for lazarus to come forth someone is praying pray for your family pray for your relatives Shut your 
Can I give you one more prayer point? Father, everything tying me down. He said, lose that man and let him go. The stone can be rolled away, but your past is still holding you. The stone can be rolled away, but yesterday is still holding you. Refusing that you will not enter tomorrow. Everything in my yesterday that is refusing me from entering tomorrow, whether it is your past, whether it is your failures, so let go. I cut away from you. Lift your voice and pray. Bible says to be young. 
anxious for nothing, he says. He says, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, we thanksgiving. He says, make your request known. Don't assume it is known. Make your request known. Please write it down. And in case your faith did not allow you to write some things, write it again. No. Because sometimes we can be used to pain and long-standing issues that we are even afraid to write them. Because we say, can God make a way in the wilderness?
I'm still praying. 
and I'm seeing the number 17. Right now there are 17 people all over the congregation. I stretch my hands. The anointing of the Spirit is coming on you now. Breaking delay. Bring them out. I release that grace. Delay break now. Please bring them out now. In the name of Jesus. The spirit of delay. Tying down people's lives. Be broken now. Inside, outside. Bring them out. Whether you are inside, outside, bring them. Lift your voice in one minute and rebuke delay from your life. Lift your voice in one minute and rebuke delay from your life. that are tied i want to pray right now the power of god will come on those people some of you it's not just your hands that are tied it's even the hands of your family god will touch you for your family and see right now at the count of three one two three may that grace break those chains right now break those chains oh my god my god my god
you are a member of this church, I want to pray for you because your life is about to change completely. What I see God doing will surprise you, man. Can I pray for you? Who is Jonathan? Jonathan. I'm hearing a name, Jonathan. Jonathan. You are wearing a white, like a white cloth. Jonathan. Who is that? Is there somebody like that? Break every chain. Break every chain. Break every chain. What's your name? Please verify that they are not just coming out. Please. Don't just. Your name is Jonathan. Sir, your name is Jonathan. It's alright, I'll pray with you. mother is in a teaching hospital. There's someone your, your, your mother also is in a teaching hospital. Sick. I don't know who that person is, but please come. I want to pray. Can you find that person? I want to pray for you. In the name of Jesus, I want to pray for you. I want to pray for you. Kemi. Who is that? K-E-M-I. Kemi. That's, that's somebody's name. Please, who is that? Quickly. Ma, I want to pray for you. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God, I truly see a very serious breakthrough. Why are they coming? Look at what is happening to this woman. Look at this. Look at this. Look what is happening to this woman. I'm seeing something being loose from her. Leave her now. Look at look at the miracle happening right in your presence. My God. My dear, look at me. Shout Jesus. This girl. Tap her. Shout Jesus as loud as you can. Out of her now. In the name of Jesus. My dear, look at me. Lift your hands. I declare that the reproach on your life and your family let it come to an end now by the power of the Holy Ghost I'm going to pray for you in the name of Jesus I command that you go out of her life now in the name of Jesus out of her life see let me tell you our time here. God is rearranging destinies. My dear, the Lord is saying I should prophesy to you. Remember not the former things. This is young lady. Nor consider the things of old. Come. The Lord is asking me to lay my hands on you. That things will turn around in your life in a way that will surprise you. In the name of Jesus, let this happen even by the Spirit. An end comes to oppression in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ, Susan, Susan, Susan. I'm hearing the name Susan. Who is Susan? You are Susan.
that man near the door that man wearing red tell him to lift his hands that gentleman standing near the door tap him and tell him to lift his hand no the one wearing red tell him to lift his hands in the name of jesus i command the spirit of death out of his life and out of his family now in the name of jesus christ mama let me pray for you in the name of jesus i stretch my hands to you and i pray the grave is a spirit it can call people you can hear it like someone is calling you but it is the grave i command in the name of jesus may your ears be shot towards the voice of the grave in the name of jesus for you and for your children and i declare you are free now and you are free forever please don't be embarrassed there is the lord is showing me a woman here i know that generally there will be a lot of people but there is a woman here this is up to four five six like six years you are trusting god for the food of the Look at me. You believe in me? 
miracles. Huh? Shout Jesus as loud as you can. Jesus! In the name of Jesus. I needed to pray for him first. Now, I see what is happening. I prayed for him and the miracle happened to the wife. You see, the eyes to see, you must trust God for grace. That simple instruction. Look at this. This is to tell you that when people marry, two really become one. Because I wanted to pray for her and the Lord said, no, this is the man you will pray for. And then this will, please go, we will return with your testimony. I can't even remember why you are still. Kemi, all of you, why are you here?
In the name of Jesus Christ please say amen in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ right now I decree and declare by the power that raised Christ from the dead that every spirit responsible for every kind of infirmity in your body I cast that spirit out in the name of Jesus Right now, I decree and declare in the name of Jesus, be healed right now. Receive your healing right now. Receive your healing right now. Re 
receive your healing right now from the crown of your head even to the soles of your feet be healed now be healed now every lump in the breast area or any part of your body I command it to disappear now the power of God is touching people migraine headache be healed now peptic ulcer be healed now heart palpitations be healed now every challenge with your bones in the name of Jesus I correct it now pile no matter how long be healed now in the name of Jesus there's someone you have severe pain around your molars your teeth in the name of Jesus the power of God is touching that person right now touching that person right now we're going to take a few testimonies here in the name of Jesus Christ there's someone you have excruciating stomach pain you've not been able to figure what the problem is month after month excruciating pain right now you're going to feel just like fire a warm sensation and that's the end of it i declare be healed now in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ there's someone i think because of your blood group you have um a lot of pains help them the power of god is coming on that person right now around your joints severe pains in the name of jesus right now the power of god is touching you every problem with your eye in the name of jesus the son of the living god i decree and declare be healed now any challenge with your ears in the name of jesus i declare unto you be healed now by the power of the holy ghost be healed now in the name of jesus in the name of jesus i'm seeing someone who eats and throws up what you are eating you are not exactly sick like your body but you eat and you just feel this irritation and then you throw it up in the name of jesus i declare to you be healed now completely set free completely set free it looks like hyenae around your groin area but it brings severe pain and it has refused to go i don't know who that is but in the name of jesus i'm declaring to you be healed right now there's someone just just around the area where you feel pain for appendicitis you've been feeling that pain this is up to two years now i'm praying for you by the power of the holy spirit be healed now supernatural healing in the name of jesus supernatural healing um, my god you had a dream and it's like a dream or something from what i'm seeing and someone told you that they will put cancer on you in the name of jesus i don't know who that is i hope you know that these things you see I'm praying for you right now. I will still pray, but that's not the person. This one I'm 
the name of Jesus I decree and declare they will not tell you how drunk you in the name of Jesus I reject that evil report and I declare that everything that is not of the Christ in your life and in your body let it go now in the name of Jesus let it go now in the name of Jesus and now I pray for every other person whether I mention your case or not I'm seeing a thermometer this is high blood pressure in the name of Jesus be free now in the name of Jesus be free now by the power of the Holy Spirit I decree and declare in the name of Jesus that everything that is not of God planted in your body I command you to come out now in the name of Jesus I command you to come out now let me wrap up by speaking over your life now listen very carefully Ezra chapter 6 and verse 14 please give it to us Ezra chapter 6 and verse 14 please let's read it together and the elders of the Jews build it and they prospered through the prophesying of Haggai the prophet and Zechariah the son of Edo and they built it and finished it according to the commandment hallelujah now listen I want to speak to you because the Bible lets us know that we are built up like living stones and I want to speak over your life they prospered through the prophesying they prospered through now in the name of Jesus be open now in the name of Jesus I speak to every branch of this ministry scattered across the globe in the name of Jesus the son of the living God and all the ministries connected to this grace whatever has shut the door towards your influence your impact I decree and declare those doors are open now I pray first over your spiritual life whatever has closed the door to hunger genuine passion for the things of God whatever has eroded your prayer life whatever has dampened your word study life so that you no longer have the hunger and the passion for the things of God in the name of Jesus tonight may that door of desperation and hunger towards the things of God be opened Listen, 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 listen. Thank you for watching our entire video today. If you feel you can bless someone, please join us and spread the gospel by sharing this video on your social media.